Hi, I'm Greg Contreras, and uh, I wanted to film a, a quick video of how I've been uh, performing the rear foot elevated split squat because I've noticed a couple of posts in the last couple of weeks of people asking, what's the best way to do it? Should I have my foot like this or like this? And the general consensus is to, to do it like this. But I've been using a different method over the last couple of years. Uh, I ration that, you know, people's foot falls off, uh, they fall off of the bench sometimes or they just feel unstable or it can cause a severe stretch which is, you know, painful. So, you know, I ration that the crooks of the ankle is curved so why not use a curved surface? That will maximize stability which maximizes muscle activation. That's a whole other topic. But let me show you what I've been doing. So, I position a barbell at around knee level. I place a thick bar pad around the barbell and Hampton makes a really good one. It's really thick, it's, it's dense. And I use that same thick bar pad to place around my hips when I do my, my hip lifts, my shoulder elevated hip lifts or my hip thrusts, what I call them. But the other thing I do, because if you just use it this way, the barbell would slide around and you'd be unstable again. So you have to secure the barbell in place. Well, I use a, a light band, a jump stretch band, and I wrap one end around the barbell, wrap it around the rack, and then loop it again. And I do the same thing to the other side. So as you can see, this isn't going anywhere. So it stays in place. Now, what I do is I unwrap the barbell, climb over, drape my foot over, and then perform my set. And as you can see, is very, very stable. And based on the feedback I've received from athletes and clients, they prefer this method much more so than this method. And they say, I'll never go back to, to doing Bulgarian squats this way again. And uh, uh, one last thing I wanted to talk about was one of the posters this week said, you know, what, what, in which way it maximizes glute activation. And uh, in my opinion, trying to maximize your glute activation on a Bulgarian squat is like trying to fine tune a Ford Pinto when you have a Ferrari sitting in the driveway. Um, this is an unbelievable, if not the best, quad exercise. It also increases hamstring activity over a full squat uh, and decreases back stress, but it's not that good of a glute activator. activator. In fact, there's there are exercises that activate three to four times as much glute muscle. So do this exercise for the quads. Do it to help, you know, your, your jumping power. But for the glutes and for sprinting exercises, that's a whole different category. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful.